Hi, good morning to all. Uh, I'm Joe from Matrix Invent. Today we have another uh, series of uh, industrial automation, which is also focused on data. Uh, that's our specialization. And uh, again, the subject of, uh, there's quite a lot of subject now these days to talk about industrial 4.0. And uh, I think the, one of the key uh, challenges that, I mean, that we see in the region, is a lot of uh, SME factories, you know, which they are, uh, quite have a you know, quite good in in terms of revenue and and business model, but however, there's a, always you know I mean like um um quite a suspect of themselves and the confidence to really how to move themselves into a smart factory. So uh, well, for this series, we actually really do doing, doing a recording and also to share that you know that uh, basically um not really. Is something for the really a big boys, you know. Basically, you can you can do so if you want to start. I mean, to really go into on data analytics for even uh small to medium sized factories, actually. Okay, a bit about us, you know. We actually established in uh two o six, uh sixty years. We have experience in uh, business process automation, and how to monetize. You know, I mean the the software for uh, industrial uh. Vendors and also independent software vendors. And then we also how to make things secure. That that's basically one of the quite aligned focus that we are working on this key supply chain. And uh, in terms of industrial automation, we do have about eight years, and uh, we always endorse you know secure, reliable data collection, and then how we can really make I mean maximize your data by providing trending analysis. You know, uh, eventually how to monetize your process your data and also the intellectual property that you have written for your software and for your I mean, uh, device. So we are a member of uh, Singapore Industrial Automation Association, uh, Industrial IoT Australia, uh, Malaysia IoT Association, ISA Australia, and also Malaysian Oil and Gas uh, Society as well. Yeah. So uh, we have we are more we position ourselves more like a regional distributor with a support center in the region. So basically, we have partners from uh you know, Europe in and US and even North Asia. But how we can actually provide them a very good confidence uh, representative in terms of just not just only selling, but also how to support them in the whole region. We base in Malaysia, and we have sales rep office in Singapore. Thailand, uh, Indonesia, Vietnam, Hong Kong, and we have even started an entity in Australia as well. And because I think I think currently Australia is one of our second largest, um, uh, I would say, uh, uh, revenue uh, uh, generated countries for our company. And we have reselling partners in China, Taiwan, Japan, Philippines, and South Korea and New Zealand. So in a way, we actually are more like uh, representing the entire Asia Pacific for our partners in the for this region and the time soon. So in overall, we actually started from uh, I mean IT, but I think uh, due to the OT convergence, now we do have a, a bit of advantage due to that we have been uh, I mean like combining the 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 integration OT and IT that since about eight years ago. So we started with doing I mean open text business process automation, helping companies to do uh, you know workflow, uh, I mean business workflow in their organization that's more on the enterprise level. Then we started to move into talk about I mean uh, how we can start to help I mean small and medium sized company to actually uh, converting and collect the data. So I mean from various sickness from the, the, the conventional PLC uh, to mood bus, you know, how to really convert it into MQTT signals. And from MQTT signals, you know, we actually, uh, how do we broken it? I mean, how do we do a, 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 a good management platform? And then how to collect it, you know, for uh, analysis in a way. We call it a historian. So basically collecting the data from probably <clears throat> one year to even can up to 10 years and 20 years. And ensuring how the data can be really good in quality, uh, with our partners from Aperio, and that's more about industry. And I mean, during the COVID time, we do have another one very very strategic. I mean, like um, uh, portfolio, which can even help all our customers. You know, that can really work from home and assess. You know, the central of their servers in their factory, and for their R and D, and then um, especially you know, using a small um, small notebook. But you can have the performance, you know. I mean, to really assessing the same performance and and to work 
like in your yeah you are sitting in the office, <clears throat> uh, for those that high quality graphic designs, you know, uh, in terms of uh cheap, uh, and also uh care computer added manufacturing and and stuff like that. <clears throat> so we do have a very uh a strong presence now. I mean, in terms of providing a an end-to-end -end solution for many um, small and medium-sized factories. I mean, uh, well, that you will you will never think of that you can really start with uh, some strategic uh, cost point. Okay, so um, our our data focus architecture is always you know from sensors and 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 uh, your machines, you know, I mean robotic arms or or, or so any uh, that um, that um, I would say automated machines. Now how we can collect the data? I mean, in a way. Uh, if your OPC will be one one direction, but if MQTT can be bidirectional, <clears throat> getting the conversion of if you got some old signal put into the brokers, and then we collect the data. I mean, uh, I mean via the 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 canary collector, and going into a trending trend uh, dashboard that you can really design any dashboard that you would like with our canary tools that basically very very simple that just drag and drop so i mean it, you can be amazed that you know i mean some of the very uh professional profile dashboard you know that for you to man uh, monitor the trendings of all the sensors have of your of your factories you know that can be you know, just only an hour uh, it's not something that you need to pay for you know multiple thousand of dollars you know but perhaps just only one hour and if you're interested you can do it as well i mean that's the, the good thing about today's uh Technology software make it easy. Then we talk about, I mean, appearal. That there's something that is more profound in a way when you really use the data up to a level that you're talking about. How to really uh, go into the level of a uh, 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 the forecasting certain things that the result that happen uh, in the future, which is predictive modeling. So you need to feed in some very important and accurate data. So the perhaps even you're talking about the quality of the data cannot be uh, more than 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 three percent to five percent uh, difference uh, deficient. The reason is that because sometimes the census data can be not accurate due to the census inaccurate. You know, maybe even. Uh, some some of the the sensors are spoiled, you know, or they are not behaving like normal, and because of that, you may can cause false signal, and maybe the false result for the analysis. That that's why it is ultra important when it comes to really um doing predictive modeling in the future. So that's that's the the the, the data architecture that we think about, uh, to be easy that to just show everyone, you know, I mean, let's not look left and right about how to be really a, a big architect of it. The very simple way to understand the entire, uh, I mean, the, the data integration between OT and IT is this is the, the right way to do so. So Gartner Analytics uh, attendance of uh, uh, model is a very good way, I think, that they, they, they explain, you know, I mean, perhaps there's a four stages, you know, I mean, in terms of uh, how you can look into collecting the data and what you're going to use with this kind of data and, and produce meaningful information for your plan. But of course, from the from the basic level, you know, very bottom level is those are hard way. And then you talk about how to be uh, descriptive analytics. You know, I mean, what happened uh, in a way to 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 explain and to describe a particular, I mean, text. You know, I mean, the information with a uh, meaningful data to assign a context on it, and then how you can actually uh, diagnose the data to talk about, I mean, the trend. So what is, is, is asking a question of what did it happen and what is, what's going on? Sometimes can be uh, the quality of the product is not good. Something happened, bad happened, or something good happened. You want to know about it. So that's how you look back into historian to really look into what is the things that uh, that, that transpire uh, within a period of the time. And uh, what will happen is something that to talk about. Okay, fine. Now you have all the data already. You can you want to maximize further. So can I some know really something that in the coming three months to six month time, perhaps uh now people, a lot of people start I mean like into maintenance, uh before the production line down. Can I know that I mean the machine will be maybe down in the next one time. So I rather do some maintenance, you know, to make sure that I mean it will be really uh good in good health and good position to continue the production line. Can you even predict, you know, I mean, if there's any oil pipe or even water pipe, it's going to burst due to the thickness of the of the pipe. It's going to be uh, a problem. And how do you do so with all this data that available that you call it collected, you know? And eventually, I mean, you talk about the ultra ultimate I mean, objective is that you can really automate the process to even provide a prescriptive, you know, about what is going to happen after you predict something, and 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 that is going to be, I mean, the a, a very high 
uh, and smart factories in the future when you can really start to talk about after for automation and how do you maximize the data from the machine data and the and the and the relational data when they combine the what kind of things that you can really expect from there. So is it the game? You know, I mean, the perception is always saying, no, oh, it was too big. You know, I mean, you're going to buy some solutions, multiple millions of, the, you know, I got a lot of resource. That's pretty true. I mean, I mean, in a way, technology adoption is always not an easy stuff. You know, so that you got something that talk about, we want, want to deploy something, uh, not just only the money, you need the people, internal people, uh, I mean, in your organization to understand the process well and what to expect next, like a project team. And then you need the IT guys, you know, I mean, the really start to be able to 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 integrate with the OT guys, the operational technology guys. So this becomes one of a very, very like a uh, like a uh, um uh, important thing that but sometimes did confuse a lot of I mean the business owner that wow there's something for the big boy perhaps I still need to uh, need to need to wait too. And because of that you may lose up a uh, competitiveness you know in a way and eventually you may really I mean like the um, maybe have a risk to really losing your competitiveness, you know, I mean, quietly without even you knowing it. So, I mean, how, how simple can be simple, actually? I mean, we do have a small lab in our company to talk about, you know, I mean, um, you get some bus sensors, get some humidity sensors, you know, get some temperature sensors. So basically, it is a, uh, can be ultra cheap, to be honest. So thanks for today, you know, we are talking about, I mean, when the sickness are trying to be standardized in a few ways, uh, mood bars, you know, um, uh, OPC, UA, and and now the the reason is going reason uh, format is going to be endorsed is more into like MQTT, Spark Plug B for IIoT. So I mean the, the manufacturers become um I mean like um so ex ex exclusive that you get a lot of uh, uh extensive choices you know from China, India, Malaysia, Singapore, Australia, you know even US, Europe. There's a lot of um you know I mean sensors uh, that you can choose that can be ranging from possibly five to ten dollars until uh, a few hundred dollars. That depends of course quality, you know, I mean the sustainability and 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 the battery powers and stuff like that. Going through a gateway, you know, I mean from the gateway it can easily to really to talk about, I mean from the gateway uh, uh, to configure with wire or even without wire with Roravan. Uh, you know, they can really extend to multiple kilometers, you know, in your plan without any issue. Uh, I mean, like, then you can really move all the data, start to move in a very standard uh, language. So to uh, MQTT Spark Plug B, you know, I mean, again, like I said, it can be OPC and mood bus, but today the IOT is endorsing how we can really make sure that there will be a certain kind of like standard language can be spoken by all the sensors. Then you get all the data, you know, and then uh, properly manage the data and then to actually push over to a historian to collect the data and then assign context, start to build the trending analysis on it. That's simple. I think as, as long as you can just achieve this stage, you have actually got a certain things level to talk about. You already achieved to move into a descriptive and diagnostic, I mean, uh, level of your uh, data in your plan. So there's nothing, nothing difficult. So what we can help actually, you know, we talk about uh again uh, our 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 basis is that we always help in two uh, area. One is the 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 uh, end customers, you know. One is the actually the vendors. So we we got a lot of vendors, you know, which is uh, providing embedded software to their to their uh, devices, you know, and to their sometimes even written pure industrial software and then to remarket it. So what we can help is always to talk about, you know, I mean, to first is that how we can really help to protect the intellectual property that you have, because when you are in a factory, you know, I mean, small and medium sized factory, you may even do a lot of products, you know, that today and in the future everything related to software. So with that software, you need to protect it and you need to license it, you know, to make it I mean, uh, become like a, a, a strategic, uh, I would say, a strategy that, I mean, even can be part of your revenue strategy in your company. So that, that's very important. So we start to help people to even talk about um, protecting your IP, you know, I mean, uh, on, 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 your, on your codes, you know, how to automating the software monetization process by licensing, renewing the subscription and, and stuff like that. And, and amazing you know it can be what's the number I mean, it can be just starting with a few uh few hundred dollars five hundred dollars with a perpetual five to ten license that you can start it with a, with a starter kit you know then you can start to protect there's not, not nothing is going to be um ultra uh, uh i mean like um uh, uh high numbers on that it's just potentially two 
uh, good dinners, you know, in Europe and in US. So basically, that's the, the figure of it. And another one, one product that we just shown you is like the Hive MQ uh, MQTT brokers, you know. Because I mean, uh, I I wouldn't go deep dive uh, deep dive into this is because we are talking about the cost. I mean, to, to look into the cost is it really that expensive? So when we talk about uh, I mean, MKTT broker is that I mean, uh, conventional plan. You know, when you have uh, decades of operation and adding a lot of new system into it, you tend to have this kind of architecture to be spaghetti uh, approach. You know, uh, you can you can really blame is because that's the technology involvement in the past. And it may not be easy for you to change everything into a new machine so easily. So you got a lot of device sensors, you know, in UPC, UA, mood bars, you know, or maybe potentially some of the analog, I mean, like a signal as well. So, I mean, going through the gateway and then, uh, but you still have to achieve to push some data into SCADA, your MES, your historian for analysis, you know, I mean, perhaps even for Power BI and, and SAP Oracle behind for even uh, uh, ultra I mean, uh, uh, I mean, like, um, and you analysis on that. So there's an integration between OT and IT. So that's very important. You got this, this, um, that's very spaghetti like. I mean, so when you want to try to put in like MKT broker is something that to talk about. We have a media man and post office now to sit in between, and if we can really have all the information to be, uh, you know, you may not need to change it with a gateway, with a software to really migrate all the data into one spoken language. You know, um. Maybe example, you used to speak Japanese, I mean, uh, French, uh, Spanish, uh, even Latin, or maybe even uh, Mandarin. And now we let's speak English together for all the machine in your plan. Then you become much more easy. I mean, in the future, that can really share the data across I mean, all the back end office um, application. There's something you have to achieve. And at the same time with this uh, MQT, this part plot B architecture, and you can really, you know, save a lot of costs, not just only reliable, there's a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, like, um, uh, new uh, discovery about, I mean, the, the protocols, but the most important is that when this thing can be really put in place properly in the plan, then imagine not just only the basic of automation, that your data can be integrated, collected for analysis, can be pre predicting, I mean, some business modeling, and eventually to really look into the smart factories that can be complete. But you don't have to achieve 100% of smart factories. I mean, you can even start 10, 20%, and, and that depends on you. And again, I mean, uh, one of the key things to talk about, I mean, uh, why I would say that, I mean, I want to, want to stress, I mean, between uh, MQTT and your OPC, uh, uh, UADA, smart plug B, a lot of people may have a, uh, like a, like a, uh, like a argument to talk, talk about why you need MQTT. Well, it's not OPC is not good. I mean, I would say, I mean, I, but in a way, we try to endorse MQTT smart plug B is because due to, you know, especially in the plan, many times you got a lot of interference. So, and then many times you may have uh, one plant in Malaysia, one plant in uh, Vietnam, one plant in China, one plant in Australia, one plant in, in Indonesia. And how do you actually have a very reliable uh, cluster? I mean, especially when you talk about smart factories, you shouldn't be down too long. So when you cannot be down too long, how do we actually make a very good cluster about all these data collections and, and, and brokers, you know, in all your plan? And um, because of that, I think normally OPC UADA is not really uh, that uh, uh, easy to define and MQTT basically is designed for that. And next will be the securities, you know, when you talk about, okay, you have a small plan, you know, I mean, like uh, within the plan is easy. But today... Uh, again, when OT and IT is converging, you know, the cyber security become a very main issue. So the things are much more easy to be hackable. And if people understand how your algorithm and data flow working, they can hack it, they can uh, they can request ransom from it. That, that really cause a big problem. So, I mean, there's a balance of uh, you left and right. You can't do too much. When you want to move into smart factory, I mean, this, that's the, the ultimate objective of all plan. Uh, I mean, then you got to really um, like also exposed to this um, cyber security. So security is one of the key things in the future that when even plan to really collect and 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 transfer and and send and receive data in between plans also become a very great concern. And eventually, I mean, we talk about OT, IT, data integration that uh, people are talking about today, uh, universal namespace. It makes things easier. If you if you talk about this, it's quite true. I mean, in a way, if you do not have a universal namespace architecture, that becomes an issue. So eventually, you need to combine your data from a machine 
to bank office to really do more things, not just at the level of MES you know, or SCADA. You're talking about in the level of SAP and perhaps even Power BI and perhaps even predictive modeling or pre prescriptive modeling in the future. I mean, there's, there's uh, uh, ways to come. And uh, eventually, uh, I think uh, there's uh, also, uh, I, we, we, we learn it from our, our principle is quite true that uh, it is not easy to look, uh, go back for, to look for some, some data which is old. You know, like uh, like uh, like a uh, banking programming last time. You know, when you talk about today, you have .NET Java. Uh, eventually, last time you got the COBOL. I mean, like RPG, and all these are so difficult to get the resources. So things are evolving. When evolving signals also become trending. So that's why MQTT become a very trending signal this day in the market. That really help you know to 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 gather a lot of youngsters' attention and. The resource problem to really learn and 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 help you to adopt the technology is getting uh, um, yes getting to be much more fashion and 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 that people is one of the key important things that uh, you need to consider as well how to really get all this OPC DA I mean like UA I mean like resource in the market so what's the number again for a Hive MQ you know perhaps you're talking about two hundred fifty devices you know? I mean we have some some rough some of the basic entrance level. It's only about two thousand dollars per year a subscription, and imagine the support that you can continue to be having given by the the principal Hive MQ, and you can have a start of just only two hundred fifty devices, uh, even more tax. You are talking about you know maybe, uh, five thousand, ten thousand tax. You know with this cost, so I mean it's it's very reasonable. And again, I would say. It's nothing, uh, you know, I mean, like a, a, a very skyrocket numbers that you can achieve it. Perhaps even or maybe just only like a, a high-end MacBook Pro, <laughs> the, the numbers. Yeah, I think then talk about even how to maximize your data after you have the brokers and we collect Canary Labs, you know, one of the our very uh, like a strong partners in this region, very supportive even to the to the development of industrial in the whole Asia Pacific. So uh, you have a lot of like uh, big boys in this area as well. I mean, uh, easily to talk about, uh, uh, you know, Rockwell, uh, Pi, you know, Aviva, all this kind of software. But there are also quite a lot of very uh, like strong system in the market, very, uh, very powerful, very, uh, uh, I would say, uh, experienced vendor in the market who produce probably 95 to 100 percent the same thing and perhaps even better but at the tiny of the cost that you wouldn't even believe it so canary is one of the very passionate collectors uh co co because they like to collect i mean connect and collect data and then to help you to start to even build your 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 variable i mean jewel database you know and then how to really perform analysis and maximize the value of your data you know so if you look at this kind of dashboard you know i mean you will amaze it can be really be done in one to two hours time. If you got a good uh, streaming uh, CCTV, you can really uh, put the streaming data into each screen that you design. Then you can even remote monitoring. If anything goes wrong, you know what's going on. And before you want to go down to look into it, sometimes you know you are suspecting a fire in the in your warehouse or your packaging uh, 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 production line. Then maybe not at all because sometimes can be a false signal. If you got a video streaming of the, all this. Uh, you know, I mean, like a, a, a screen. It's so easy for you to see. Not so only on the on the desktop. It can be on a mobile, for the iPad. So depends on how you're gonna design. I mean, the dashboard on that. Yeah. So what's the number again? I mean, you're talking about. You know, we have a very good software that can really collect the data, have you to store probably years of the data, and then to really evaluate. I mean, and how to be improving your product. Uh, uh, of your pro, uh, you know of your manufacturing to be smarter to analyze it uh, to be even look into problem or even what success and what value about the about the, about the process of making the product and you can analyze the data this is only about 995 per quarter you know perhaps when you talk about I mean um, you want to go into um, a perpetual or you may only only pay for I mean about three thousand dollars for one time. Yeah, uh, I mean, a ten thousand dollars one time, which is the nine nine five per 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 quarter, uh, per quarter in subscription data. So it's unlimited users. You know, I mean, like three thousand five hundred tax starting. That's something that very very good enough to really help you to to collect all the data points across your whole plants everywhere. So imagine again that number. You know, I mean, it's something not, I would say, skyrocket numbers. You can really deploy with uh, you know, I mean, just a a small budget to invest. 
uh, from uh, like a, a, a high end server. That's done. And then there goes another uh, system that been uh, appeal, which uh, that will be depends on how you want to move on. You know, I mean, like I say, if you move on from uh, you know, like um, uh, uh, descriptive until di uh, diagnosis, you know, and then you're going to predictive. So when you move into your a smarter uh, environment, that you need to really have a very good data quality. So that is something that is moved uh, one step beyond that. I mean, uh, into a uh, super high uh, smart factories because you're talking about you want to have a very accurate data, don't have a deficiency of data that, I mean, the quality can be more than 3% problem. So even 3% problem, you can cost you a lot of money in your organization. And Aperio is one of the key partners that we have in this uh, in this uh, space. So you talk about historical replay, you know, our range data, noise, you know, flat line, a value structure, sync law, you know, I mean, bad data, corrupt changes, uh, sometimes spikes, you know, sometimes, uh, I mean, correlated signal. Well, there can be many, many reasons that because of uh, the abnormal detection, I mean, uh, uh, needed, you know. So imagine then now you got uh, maybe 100 text, it's easy. But what if in the next time your, your small and medium sized factories are growing to a, a smart factories uh, level, then you may have about you know, I mean, like uh, uh, fifty thousand tax and uh, one hundred thousand tax, and at that level, it's not that easy to really look into what is going to be a uh, problem and happen. And Apiro uh, does in, in have a AI artificial intelligence and machine learning engine that can really have the domain knowledge and help to really analyze your periodic data and start to give you all sort of events that what is happening. I mean, in your in your site, then you can drill down to deep dive and see, you know, is that something that we need to adjust because of the sensor inaccurate, or is it something that is uh, normal due to I mean, uh, from the study, I mean, from the lab until the actual production, there may be something from variation on from that. And 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 uh, you know, on what sort of other reason that they give you the event to even analyze uh, deep dive into it? Well, again, I mean, again, uh, you may say it is costly. I mean, for Aperio, but I would say when it really, when you are really moving your plan into a, you know, I mean, like a, 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 a super big boys smart factories equivalent environment for data analysis. You know, I mean, or to to even become predictive and prescriptive uh, analysis and 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 description. That I mean, the figure even you talk about fifty to sixty thousand across uh, the 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 whole whole um, um, uh, modeling and integrity is, is, I would say, still very affordable. And it's very, uh, uh, you know, I mean, like a uh, good interval figure. So, I mean, you think back, you know, all these kind of things that's really low back, perhaps maybe you need about uh, to, to really go, you can go module by module, start from very basic, or you can even go into like all full set, you know, I mean, you look at it, it's super affordable. I would still think super affordable. So I think mean, we, we do have some small factories, really small factories and say, hey, Joe, I mean, I, we don't even know what to start. How do we start actually? So can we just start from somewhere because we do not have, yeah, the internet do not have the domain knowledge and we, we they have not even think about it before. They cannot visualize, I would say, I mean, what is the benefit from it? And then when the consulting uh, uh, company or the, uh, or the big boys will come in, we definitely, uh, wow, they will have a perception that may be killing me, I mean, on, on, on in terms of investment. So I would say, you know, I mean, like we do even offer and, and to a lot of uh, small uh, factories and say that, hey, I mean, you know, you know, you may want to start small to maybe even put a two sensor, three sensors, you know, into your factory, you know, to detect your warehouse, to detect about the temperature and humidity, because you want to know whether uh, that environment is good to store your, your, your current uh, goods, you know, for your for your customer or even for yourself. And, and with that, you start to really have the kind of like uh, visualization of the sensors, how it can help, how it can move the data, you know, across your plan. And it's like a POC and then, you know, can really uh, give you the kind of analysis, you know, I mean, on it. So we always think that, you know, with this model, you are very easy and start to really look into, to build something in your mind, to brainstorm and start to ring the bell because... Honestly, I mean, many times when you go to the market, I mean, the people will ask you, do you have any any uh, uh, experience and domain knowledge and, and they can share and how to use data? Uh, to be honest, most of the factories, I mean, the most uh, the, the knowledge that uh, retain is actually internally yourself. So you have all the data in your brain and all the tricks and all the ideas how to use the data, except you do not have the experience to really uh, uh, drill it out. To ring the bell, you have something very small. And, you know, with this kind of like technology, you know, we can even help you to put up 
your 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 sensors. You do not need any uh money. You know, you just do need uh send over. We send over. Open up your I mean the sensors. You know, start to connect to the Wi-Fi, and then you that's all. I mean the 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 dashboard. You can start to monitor. It's that easy. You know, I mean uh for you. So again, how much is that? You you think about it. What's the number? What's the damage? Thirty five per month per sense per per sense per per month and the sensors included. Can you imagine that? You can start really small that we can help you to build from a, a very um, young environment that have the POC and then slowly you can build up one by one. Then you can even go up to a super high, you know, I mean, uh, smart uh, level. But but you can still start with $35 per month. And three sensors with sensors included. I mean, uh, wireless without any things that you need to be uh, installed and, and, and rechanging your cabling. So it's something to just go inside. So that's why I, I think the the important summary of the the session is that always you can you can you can uh, you can count that uh, the perception of uh, having all these IOT and all these things are the big uh, the game for the big boys is wrong, and and they just you don't have the right matching of the people who tell you that there's a lot of solution in the market you can start really small. So if you're interested, you can always come to our website and fill in the form. And 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 we can help you. We can we can we can transfer it to our localized partner to tell you, uh, I mean to to come to you and speak to you what you can do, and also in a way, uh, that you can talk about. We can even uh uh, uh send you some advice, you know, and submit some POC device with this kind of cost. Yeah. So uh, very really short series, half an hour today. I mean, and uh, and thanks for your time to for the listening, and and hope we will continue to provide more series. Of this uh uh, uh fact uh, uh fact sheet you know that 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 uh, importance and available in the market for all to share.